Hello folks, today we are tying this uh, micro sunker. Yeah, this is a really nice small sunker minnow. It's around uh, three centimeters or a little bit more than one inch actually. I, I tied this many years ago, I called it the one, shin, the one inch goby. Yeah, because we mostly fish this on the on the coast in the salt water for a zero and brown trout. But this is also perfect for brown trout, rainbow trout, char, perch, yeah, whatever. But we mostly fish this on on uh, on the coast for zero and brown trout. So let's tie it. This is a uh, Orex curved gammarus. This is the size 10, which is a perfect size for this this size. You can also use a 12 if you want, but I prefer the, the 10. Uh, back in the days I tied it with some other materials than I will do today. Or not really actually, but this is the, the new thing. This is a spawn dubbing. It's uh, called Steelhead Torch, which is has a little bit of orange tone to it. This will be like a hotspot to the fly. It's actually um, the idea I got from the beginning from a friend of mine that's called Fredrik Laxlorensen that uh, tied uh, a really small nice goby imitation so this is my my variant of, of that fly and yeah that is for the Taylor hotspot and then the, then you do a dubbing loop the thread I'm using is this uh, from Semperfly Nano Silk 18 watts no 12 watt brown and then for the body I use a pearl I stub pearl this is red U and you don't need much of this because you will just have it as a little body of the fly That's the trick with these small flies. Don't overdo it with materials because you want them kind of light. That is perfect. Because you will have the sunker strip and also sunker head for this fly. So you need some extra space, of course. And now for for the wing or body of the fly. And I use pine scroll sunker strip and you really I love to just V cut it like this because then it has a better taper to the to the body and think about that you shouldn't this shouldn't be long it should just cover cover the hotspot tail or what to say that didn't go as I wanted. Perfect. And then you do another dubbing loop.
and you will have just a small amount of these fibers from the same sunker strip and you spread them kind of equally in the loop here's the trick to not use too much of this strip for the head or the finishing because then it will just be very like a clump of fibers and that is not nice because you want still some of the liveliness to the fly but that is perfect and I wet my fingers as you saw to pull the fibers a bit back that is also for making it's easier to uh, fix the head now with, with ice and uv resin. <coughs> and I love to have a slightly bigger ice for this because it looks way better. Because then the fish will also see it in some way better I think and uh, react to the ice. So I still wet my fingers and I just attach a little bit of uvers in here then I start with putting one eye same on this eye You can also use uh, super glue, of course. But when the it's these small flies, the super glue gel can get the fly to become a little like whitish, and that is why I only use. UV resin for these smaller ones. I spread the UV resin a little bit like that. And now I see that I have a little resin in the eye. Then it's easy to just get it away with a feather. The good thing with this fly, it's so light that you easily can fish it in very shallow water, which is where these fish, small gobies live. So it's a perfect pattern for, for that. Let's see. I like to have overdo it a little bit, apparently. Well, now I am very satisfied. So there's the one inch goby. Yeah, 
So give it a try and hope that you will catch some nice fish on it. So thanks for watching, give it a thumbs up and yeah, subscribe to the channel. Bye bye!